right, guys? Josh, Ayush, Pretty, Michelle. Who you want? Hello, Lee. I uh, saw so you are back to your background. That normal room, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm back in the doghouse. Now there's, yeah, this. Uh, I, I, I like show you guys real quick. It's a, it's a pool house. Well, whoa, whoa, I bumped the microphone. Um, it would be nice if I actually like got off my, got off my butt. And uh, I don't know if you can see the pool outside. It's kind of, it's not light enough, but there's. Uh, yeah. So it's a small um, guest house that we have uh, separated from the main house, which is really convenient for like, you know, having as an office. Part of the issue with the plate, this um, building, this uh, pool house is it has a uh, tile, tile for flooring, which means um, uh, generally there's nothing to absorb your voice, uh, the echo of your voice. So I, fi I have finally had to get an actual microphone to uh, help yeah. help so it didn't sound like I was sitting in a hallway all the time. I don't know if I've told any of you this, but I, I we, uh, so we, I live in, I mean, I, I live in Austin, Texas, which I, I think a lot of you guys know, but um, I live just on the outside of town. So we live on six acres and it is, it's not that we keep upkeep all the six acres, but um, when we try to, it's, it's a ton of work. I mean, it's a ton of work in general. Uh, there's just, there's always something broken. Uh, the, the, I guess the positive side to always having something broken is that, um, is that I've, I, I always have an excuse to buy another tool. <laughs> so I get to go, uh, you know. I get, uh, I've got, I've got all the tools or, uh, which anyway, anyway, we're selling it. Uh, it's kind of funny. I'm looking out the window of the pool house. There's a, we have a chicken coop. Um, cause we used to have, uh, like 10 or so chickens until foxes and coyotes, um, ate them and hawks and whatever else. Anyway, we're selling our chicken coop cause, uh, I think my wife wants to get a bigger one. Do, do, does anyone on the call, I'm curious, does anybody eat fresh eggs versus, how, how do I say, maybe fresh is the wrong word. Anybody, does everybody buy theirs from the store or does anyone have them uh, from chickens that you have or that your neighbors have? Uh, no, so like, Almost thirty percent of India is vegetarian, so they don't eat eggs in the first place itself. And <laughs> most of us, uh, we uh, I guess live in a city, so yeah, we are not privileged enough to get fresh eggs. Uh, so most of us might be buying from the store itself. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm uh, from the thirty percent. Thirty percent vegan versus yeah. just vegetarian no so yeah it's basically not exactly vegan like milk and all those things but uh, not eggs and non they all those things are not yeah yep gotcha well um for those that do eat eggs i'll say that home farm or um eggs not from a chicken factory are it's amazing how much better they taste. There's, there's a significant taste difference. It's really something. Well, now that we've spent six minutes um, talking all about all about chickens and eggs and, and Lee's pool house. Um, good morning, everyone. It's um, November 23rd. So the week of Thanksgiving for those that celebrate that holiday. No doubt, no doubt next week when you show up, my cheeks will be a little chubbier. I'm going to stuff my face. I have no problem stuffing my face. It's going to be a lot of face stuffing. Uh, 
so <laughs> I guess we're just going to talk about food on this call. That's all we're going to. Um, very good. Well, uh, there are a few of you, uh, are a number of you on the call. Um, very nice to see a couple of faces that are um, somewhat newer uh, or that haven't been here for a year. Um, there's, a, um, well, one individual in particular, Vishal. I think, Vishal, you were on this last community call, I thought, this last Friday, but I don't know that we ever got a chance to say hi or let you introduce yourself to everybody else. D did we? Hey, Vishal, are you there? I don't know if you're able to, if, you're, if your audio is up sometimes. Sometimes people's audio doesn't work. But anyway, Vishal, if you can hear us, welcome. Very good to have you. Vishal, I owe you, I think, a follow-up in Slack about just kind of um, an introduction to the community. So I'll, I'll do that. There's a link to the meeting minutes that I that's in the chat now. So please jump in. Um, the community minutes are, I'm sorry, the meeting minutes are a community effort. So um, make them yours. If you have topics you want to discuss, please drop them in. And um, good deal. And then we have um, Omkar as well. Uh, Omkar, I recognize your pull requests or your name from your pull requests, which have been um, nice. Uh, but then uh, I can't remember if we've gotten a chance to talk before. Have you introduced on a call like this before? Mm. Yeah, you know what, Omkar is not, his audio isn't on. Uh, that, okay, that's uh, strike two of three <laughs> for me. And then, uh, so Payush, you're the, you're the, my third chance and, um, so, so I know, uh, thanks for taking on the Safari, uh, the recite, the um, icon sizing issue. I tried out the PR that you had. I had hoped that it would work because it's a pain in the rump if you're trying to fix something that you don't have the ability to confirm a result for or a fix for. It didn't I don't know, now that I say this, like it didn't work, although I don't, maybe I'll go try it one more time and totally empty my cache, maybe have a, a private browsing session because I know that sometimes that'll get in my way. But, uh, but Payush, we should make one, one of today's goals to get you into onto something else because... Uh, yeah, there's, there are other interesting things to do. Cool, all right. Well, uh, and so Payush, for you, you said that um, React is an area of ideal focus for you. Uh oh, don't make me strike out Payush. This will be my third strike, man. It'll be, it's all I've got. Are you there? Oh, yeah. Hi, Lee. Uh, <sighs> okay, good. I can hear you. Am I audible? Yep, you are. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I was a bit out of patience from uh, here. I was not at home. So sorry about that. Oh, uh, no, no problem. Actually, I was... Uh, yeah, I was going to work on uh, the mesh monkey and the chaos oh. engineering. So I was looking for that. <sighs> okay. Boy, you said a mouthful there. Okay. Um, that's, that's great. I'm, I'm excited about that. It is, I, I'll be honest with you and say, uh, we have a lot of projects going on. That's a, de a fairly decent sized project and super pumped that you're into that. And, um, We'll have a conversation with you to try to help kind of get you, you know, ramped and pointed in the right way. I'll say this, that 
it is, it saddens me to say this, that because we do have so many other projects going on that uh, it, it, it's likely to be the case that you'll have, it might be harder to get up and going just because it's not an active project and to, to accomplish what we think, um, you know, let's, let's talk about it because um, uh, could, be, could be a nice long-term project. Like, like there's a lot to do there. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good place to focus. Yeah, actually, I was looking at uh, the uh, litmus. Uh, you have given litmus chaos. Yeah. So that's a bit uh, tough to get in uh, my head. But surely I would uh, uh, look for forward to it. Because uh, nice. I've uh, started uh, working on it right now. So I'll just uh, get back to you again. Okay. Uh, it sounds good. Uh, while you're looking into it, did did you end up, I can't recall now, did you end up having a conversation with uh, Manish, Tanji? Manish, yes, yes, yes. Uh, about Chaos Mesh? Did, was I haven't he... contacted him yet, uh, but I will surely. You contacted him, but it just didn't really, it kind of fizzled out? Yeah. Uh, because uh, he's also, I think, uh, he don't have the idea to get uh, on the board right now. So I just started exploring the uh, chaos engineering today. Okay. So yeah, I will uh, just, um, uh, it will take me a bit. As right. you think about, okay, yeah, very good. As you think about use cases, um, there are some, like, this may already be obvious to you. I think it probably is, but uh, very simple use cases of like, um, uh, I uh, about you know like so meshery today it will generate load against an endpoint, and it'll it'll measure the response time. Yeah. Um, while it's generating load, it could also be injecting jitter. Or latency, um, and so yes, like yeah. Uh, um, so nice. Okay, good, good. So we actually need the yeah conference uh, for the mystery. So we, I think uh, I will just go through the litmus today. Okay. And check out what are the possibilities to get started with it. Right. Good deal. Yeah, and the, the litmus chaos guys have been on this call a few times. I think actually they were they were um, fairly involved for a while in the uh, continuous integrate when we were doing continuous integration. And uh, so, good good deal. That's not, that sounds good. All right, uh, it's good to have you. Very good. Uh, Next up is there's a topic on SMP and uh, variable transition speeds. So, um, Pratia, is this you by chance? Uh, no, I just uh, wrote it down. Uh, so like, uh, I don't know if it's an issue with all of the. Can you just open SMP? Yeah. So if you like, let's say click and click on any menu item. <laughs> it's like a um what do you call it it's a increasing roller. like yeah yeah roller goes <laughs> <laughs> at least it gets you it gives you a big a oh, fair warning it's like look i'm gonna i'm starting i'm getting started and then it's like um pratia what uh any any comment there uh, actually, like, I don't know, like, I've noticed that, but it doesn't, like, okay, it looks good, though, I wouldn't be saying okay. that it caused some issue, but yeah. Sure. Uh, um, it might be, it, it, it might be that, um, it, that the slow to start part is more of an issue than the rest of it just because 
Yeah, I think if we uh, modify the transition time, like what's there in second, like if it's in thousand, then we have to reduce it to five hundred. Kind of like that. Then it might it might solve the issue. I need to look into it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Not not the biggest of of things of issues, but yeah. All right. Okay, and um, Neil, if you're if you're in here already, maybe you could take a quick note about um, checking that out. D does does anybody know if Shivai is anybody heard from Shivai on the Mega Menu? Nope. Mm, dang. Well, um, we've got a little. We've got more time before it has to be there, although. It's, um, it makes me anxious that such a significant component, you know, not be advanced for some time. So um, uh, maybe I'll pre preemptively ask uh, to the extent that Shivai doesn't return his focus here in time. Um, is there anyone that thinks that they might want to take on um, a focus on this mega menu on, on the on the new layer five site. There's a, a menu. I mean, there's a global navigation menu, and the style that we have is you know referred to as a mega menu. Um, I think I think it becomes mega mostly because <clears throat> of these of uh, like built-in graphics and um, or built-in spots to have an expose, like have something um, shown a bit more deeply than just links. Anyway, we've got a couple of issues with, so the, the current one that we have is all done in CSS and um, it has a, a couple of issues. One of those is that it may be a little too static for us in terms of how it, deciding which, um, which items to highlight, which items to put here. Also, it is really jumpy. So if you hover and you go to move to the next menu, menu item, the next one, it just like, and if you're not careful, you might be on home and you're like, oh, I want to navigate over to the home classic. Okay, I'll just mouse over to, wait a second. Okay, I'll just mouse up. Okay, wait a second. And then you punch someone. <laughs> Because, because you're so frustrated that it uh, won't stay in place. So, uh, so Shivai was um, going to look at kind of moving that from CSS-based implementation to more of a JavaScript-based implementation. Is that so, Josh? You're not allowed to say yes, but uh, for anyone else, is that? Um, an area of interest. Am I allowed? Uh, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't try. It means I saw it. Means I was learned, looking through it in the dev tools. So it has some CSS issues as well. So at first, I would be fixing that. Then I will try. Let's see if we can uh, fetch the latest post from the query GraphQL and show it at the end. Nice. Uh, oh, good. That, that, uh, that, that brings a smile to my face, Nikhil. Um, uh, so, so, actually, uh, we have to open PRs already, one from Tanuj and one from Shivai regarding this. I would first consult with them. Uh, let's merge them if possible, means if it's feasible and does not break anything. Then I will progress my work on that. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll let I'll let you make those those two decisions. Um, it, uh, I think yeah they, they they might be helpful. They might have I think um, both of them s fix a portions portions of the issues. Um, then uh, yeah, as you potentially refactor to make it a bit more dynamic with with JavaScript, um, if you would think think about this that yeah that you might have a default. Well, that an ideal, the ideal system here is something like, yeah, taking the blog post as an example, it might be, it would be nice if 
<clears throat> if um, if we could control which two blog posts are being shown by either switching from like one of two modes. So the one mode would be just what you had said, which is, um, hey, it's dynamic. Just whatever the latest, the last two blog posts are, they, they, they show there. The other mode would be more of a, a manual um, curation mode where in the front matter of the blog, you would make up some term like hero or, or mega menu, um, true, false. Yeah. And for each, and that, be, that second mode becomes particularly applicable when you look at something like, like the learn menu. How often do we publish a book? Uh, I'm sad to say like twice a year, like it's, which is like not very frequent, but a whole heck of a lot more frequently than I would really like. Anyway, how often do we do a workshop? Uh, once every other month. So would we want it to auto update? I, I'm not, uh, what I'm saying is like, there are use cases where we don't necessarily want it to always show the latest. Um, and we would rather have some keyword to control. Right, right. Uh, I will look into that. Oh, I see. Oh, thank you. All right, nice. Uh, and then, and then um, Umkar, Umkar, I think, uh, is your audio on now? I was. Yes, please, yes. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. There you are. Oh, very good. Um, I was calling you out in part because uh, I recognize the good work that you've done in GitHub already. And uh, we were kind of talking about areas of focus for different people. Uh, and, and it would be good to hear, well, not only listen to your radio, but it would also be good to hear um, if there's a particular area of layer 5NG that, that has gotten you excited. Uh, well, I just worked with the blog, so uh, looking forward to work there. Yeah, that's right. You, you um, maybe if you could, if you're in a position to do it, whenever you're ready, maybe you could demo the uh, some of your work, the the related posts work, and, and talk about how that works a little bit. Uh, yeah, actually, the related post uh, still fetches latest posts. The query is still the old. Um, oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm planning to change that soon. Um, I had a bit of school work, so I couldn't do that. Uh, maybe we can just, maybe you can just speak to how it is that the related posts will work, like what, what query that will be. Yeah, yeah, I, w I didn't understand that completely, so it might take some time. Okay. Yeah, no, no problem, but like, uh, logically, how, how would you, like leaving the technical portion aside, sort of logically, how would you like for it to determine which, what's an appropriately related post? Um, I think the categories aren't working yet, right? Um, there, I, I would I would phrase it like they work, but it's possible that we would recategorize some posts, which wouldn't really affect the logic that you use. Okay, so uh, so we have two aspects, right? The categories and uh, the tags on the posts, right? That's correct. You're right. So I think tags are. Uh, no more uh, reliable for that categories are uh, hello actually i'm having some internet issue i'm not able to hear you yep uh, no we're, we're good we uh, keep going yeah uh, so i think tags should work good but for that we have to you know have common tags in the post and I don't think that all of the posts would have you know, a lot of common tags. 
Okay, m makes sense. Uh, we actually, a, a collection of us met on Saturday to talk about some outstanding items for layer 5NG. And one of those was uh, for someone with uh, red hair and freckles to go look at um, the category, the blogs and make sure that they're correctly categorized and that they have the correct tags. So fairly soon, like this, this week, it, um, the blogs will have the correct categories and correct tags. And so um, even if they don't, you can still, your logic wouldn't change in terms of like the related posts. I, I think what we're saying right now is like if we're kind of moving forward with your design, it would be <clears throat> a user would navigate to um, an individual blog post. They would, they would read the blog post. Uh, I didn't realize these things were. They, they would read the blog post. At yes. the end of it, understanding how much they enjoyed the current one, they would then say, they would then be presented with. I'm assuming is it is it something of like a carousel that you're thinking about, uh, a horizontal. Uh, can we uh, see the preview of the PR I made? Yeah. Uh, you know this is the old layout. Sounds good. The peers closed. Oh. Yeah, that's. All righty. Nice. Yeah. So. Um, how is it? I mean. You know, you know, it look, um, it looks great. Like that's exactly the. the there's two, two items. Um, one is just if we if we white space is good, uh, but if we maybe take away about half of the white space here, and then if we take away about three quarters or maybe maybe just half of the white space here, I think we would we if we tightened up just a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, understood. Right now, it looks like your query is probably only retrieving the three most related. And I, oh. I wonder if we have the ability to create a carousel. Is that? Uh, I don't know what carousel means. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, no. It's. Um, it's like a, uh, let me see if I've got a. Uh, Sorry, I'm not that good with English. No, no. I mean, what's funny is like, I'm going to misspell carousel right now because <laughs> I never remember how to spell it. <laughs> you can show the SMP site as well. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> own work <laughs> oh yeah sorry it's it's right here so um omkar it's oh yeah, yeah i understood the... now it wouldn't be an auto scrolling carousel but rather yeah you know, with an arrow on the right side maybe like uh, upon and upon clicking it uh, the user can uh, navigate through all the blogs yeah, yeah. Um, well, I have a small suggestion for the uh, NG site. Ali, can you go to the NG site? <laughs> yeah, like uh, if you go to the Mega Menu section, uh, just correct me if I'm wrong, then uh, the layer for how I school my seniors and the service mates is to your parents. That part, I mean, that image part is static, right? Yeah. So, uh, like, uh, if uh, if you open D two IQ in the new tab, please. Oh, open what in the new tab? D two IQ. D two IQ. Yeah. Sure. So, like, uh, yeah. So, if you, yeah, if we if we can make something like this as you uh, hover through those, yeah. 
these things are like animated gifs uh, not animated these are gif files so basically static files uh, and we are displaying them over the mega menu section yeah so, so i wonder it, it, like to support something like this or like this i um it seems like it's possible that we wouldn't even have to consider anything additional, well, necessarily anything additional in the mega menu, because it would just be if an animated GIF is present, it will yeah, yeah, animate, yeah. it will self animate. Um, it, but to your, but that's a little bit naive of me to say that you wouldn't consider anything. It, it would seem like what you would consider is, um, is that for a given blog post, it has front matter. Um, part of that is like, what's the here, like what's the hero image or like what's the image for the blog post? And then maybe there would be, what's the animated image for the blog post? Because uh, you might want to control when you're displaying the animated version versus the... Uh, I think like he, he means to say is that uh, like we do have multiple menus and like uh, let's say uh, if we talk about the project section uh, so yeah so here we we can have like we don't need to have uh, anything from the card or from the front matter itself like we can bring something new related to project over here I mean like I think he means to say that yeah that's actually what I was trying to yeah, that's a, that's a good point that like, um, geez, actually, when you think of it, only one of the, like the blogs are a bit special only because blog, mostly because blog posts, there are so many of them and they come relative, well, they need to come faster than they have been, but they're relatively um, frequent. Yeah, because when you think about something like projects, geez, if we only create a, a new project once every three months or four months, then it, it needs to be intentionally, it's somewhat static, it's highly curated. Um, but yeah, so having some animation in the menu sounds great to me. Whether that's an animated GIF, which I think is easy, you know, which is easy enough to do without like, you don't have to mess with the menu that much. Or Neil, of what you were thinking about, did, did any of that, of your thoughts about how that might work, was there any special consideration that needed to take place inside of the mega menu itself, do you think? Uh, like uh, if you hover in projects, we get the same uh, looking cards that we get in the blog section. I was talking like if we can uh, highlight those projects, like we can have individual project uh, cards over there for the project section. And for the blog section, we have the blog cards. Totally. Yeah, it, um, it almost goes without saying that, um... okay, wait, I think this is how you spell it. I think I did it right. Um, Neil, you're totally right that uh, yes, we would we would for sure never release this new site with like the same stinking um, highlighted you know items that every each and every single one of these should have a unique call out and that no call out should be re repeated across them. Like yeah, no, no doubt. Nikhil, as you look at that, it's we don't need to make the requirements necessarily harder than they than they already are. Um, there's a couple couple of things, um, Nikhil, that become that actually do become fairly. There's some nice to have things, and there's some some things that would be re like really, really, really nice to have to the extent that they almost become a requirement. And it, there's some subtleties, like when you look at strappy.io, the, the subtlety here is, actually, I think, Nikhil, you've probably heard me say all this stuff before, but it's like the mega menu on layer five, it, it expands, it like opens from the center. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the one on Strappy is a bit more, they have two things, I think, they sort of open downward on you, 
and and it's um, a longer, smoother uh, transition from zero opacity to 100%. But as they do it, it's sort of coming down some, and it, and it reaches the bottom, boom, and it, and it bounces back slightly. So it gives you a nice, um, a little more fluid, I guess, is how it feels. Uh, is a as a thought. Okay. The other, the other thought. Um, it, yeah, actually, this is good for um to use the collective brain power of the people that we have on this call, and that is. Hey guys, I, guys, as you look across other sites, just can be any any type of site, um, and you see one that has this type of a menu. If there's something that strikes your fancy or that you think is pretty, you know, somewhat novel, pretty cool. Um, so by the way, Augustine, who's on the call, I think it's Augustine that has pointed this out a few times. Or, or maybe um, Pratia, you might have pointed this out and then others of us have been looking and things. I don't remember. I, I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did drop the link for this website. Oh, very good. Uh, Josh, you did. Okay, good, good. Um, and then I remember um, Austin had, uh, he actually got a copy of the um, visuals for the site, which was nice. Um, I, uh, I suspect that there's some gradients in the future for layer 5NG, which, which I think will, I think, I think we'll, I think we've got a great canvas for that. A lot of white space that we can bring in some gradients that'll probably really set it off really, really well. But I, I was bringing up this site as just a, um, an example of something that I thought was, you know, fair. They have some nice animations. They don't have the best um, menu, but yeah. So as we go to finish off this menu, if you see other things that you think that we should be doing, it would be good to. Helpful. Okay. So, yeah, so Umkar, um, ideally, yeah, a carousel would be great. I, that's a nice to have thing. If you only end up showing between one, I guess technically between zero and three related posts, that's fine as well. Um, you do want to account for the, the edge case where someone has used a tag for the first time. Like, first of all, on a given post, a, a given post will typically have more than one tag. Okay, so which tag should we use in the, you know, which tag should we use to retrieve the related posts? Um, are the tags, you know, sorted in a way that the first one is most convenient? Uh, yeah, if we have question. it, Yeah, we might have to we might have to create a system, you know, um, and and I don't know that we need to figure it out now. Um, but the, you know, a system can be something like, hey, a blog post can have. I'm going to suggest some things, and 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 this is really meant for more research than anything else. Just, um, you might be able to we might be able to assign let people assign tags to a post, and then let people assign a weight. To, to a tag or like, maybe it's not a weight, it's just a flag on any one of the tags and that flag being, that's the related post tag, or that's the, yeah, the related posts tag. And so that one should be used when considering whether or not to show or fine, maybe it, that's like, even then you would have a hard time making sure that the right post shows up on the right related thing. It, it could be something more like, Hey, the person who authors a post, as they're filling in all the metadata about that post, it's their responsibility to identify previously existing posts that they consider are very much related. Like, it, it's very true that at some point, one of us is going to write a blog post series. And wouldn't it just be convenient if the related posts had that series there? So, so giving the author of the current post explicit control over what is shown is arguably one of the better approaches because 
it's the human, it's one of us, whoever is writing the blog post that is in the best position to say what they think is the most related. Um, so that's another way of doing it. Uh, yeah, I like, I like that. And that would... Um, as you said, you know, the categories are uh, uh, halfway working, uh, you can say, right? Um, I would say it like this. Um, nope, they're totally working. <laughs> the categories okay. are totally working. The tags, they totally work. Functionally, they okay. totally work. Completely ignore... So completely ignore what posts are tagged with what, doesn't matter. Um, okay. So we can use categories for uh, this thing also, right? Yeah, we could, could use tags or categories. And the thing is, is if we get to an implementation of what we're kind of talking about right now, which is allowing the post author to identify um, one or more, one or 100 um, related posts, that that if we do that, that approach is probably um, not li literally not using tags or categories. Rather, there's probably a new construct called related posts that, yeah, takes either that probably just takes a unique identifier, the permalink or the post, sorry, the post ID of other related posts that it should show up. That's it. Um, Josh, uh, Nikhil, uh, or other, others, do you, do you guys know? So, so right now, the blog posts that we have, they don't have unique IDs. They do have unique permalinks. Um, is there a different unique identifier other than the permalink that you would consider should be used for something like this? uh like uh we do have the time like the date plus time altogether so i think that can be like we can do something and slugify it if we want to have a unique id yep. uh, and uh okay good that that makes sense it could be one of the challenges with that is it could be it could make it a little arduous on the user that's <clears throat> um, but conceptually the permalink sh like has to be globally unique otherwise we're kind of in trouble I think is, is that a, is that an accurate statement like a permalink is guaranteed to be unique and if it isn't the site is screwed up outside of related posts yeah. But um, yeah. But there might be something better than permalink. I, I, I um. Uh, cool. Well, um, Umkar, any other thoughts on this? <clears throat> uh, no, actually, I'm thinking about how we can implement. And I'm uh, I'm new to React basically. I just wanted to work with a good code base to start with. Good. Yeah, you, um, you're doing a, a fine job from what Nikhil says anyway. Now, Josh was talking yeah. about you earlier. But, uh... Yeah, they were very helpful. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes too, but that's fine. I learned. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we, that's what the community is here for. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> cool. Very good. All right. Uh, All right. Considering the permalink can be globally unique or not, uh, it depends if you are considering the permalink to be uh, to be having included the domain name as well. If not, then I don't think it guarantees to be globally unique. Uh, seeing being so, like you can have two sites with like two blog posts, for example, can be with same name. So then totally. the link for both of them would be same. Totally. And you know what? Um, for You're absolutely right. For purposes of this um, design, 
it is it's entirely safe to uh like uh safe to use the to consider that the namespace that we're dealing with is just it would always and forever <clears throat> be the domain name layer5.io <clears throat> or the or if we wanted to variableize it it would just be like the the base url of the site that um we would always only point to related posts on on this site and as such the world or what what's global is is uh constrained to just layer5.io slash that's fixed and then the rest is dynamic okay okay uh so considering that uh means i'm not sure if we do need a unique id for the blocks means it depends on how much data we have for at first right yeah yeah uh yeah the the i think this is maybe one of the first use cases that we're coming across where having a unique mon having a moniker to to reference whatever that moniker is if it's a number or to reference a, an individual blog post is helpful um this this is this is a use case where what we're saying is in order to make sure that the related posts section shows highly relevant posts and to give the blog author control over that um it would be metadata of the blog that you're looking at that blog would have metadata that that has um technically it would have zero or more related posts and what constitutes whether or not it's related is whether or not the blog author themselves manually put in a pointer um this this identifier to one or more other posts and so yeah the question becomes okay well how do you how do you identify another blog post um we we're not necessarily using a database that auto generates a unique identifier so what is the unique identifier well it's it's permalink is like the you know, while the while i think the, there's a little bit of fragility that we would have to consider here that it's possible possible we shouldn't we should try not to do it but retro actually i think i think this is fine like if you ever go back and change the permalink of a post um part of that requirement would be that you would have a redirect from from the old permalink to the new this this is a requirement probably in general for irrespective of the uh um related posts thing um and this is at some point also everyone we we should uh write down contributor requirements uh blog blog post um author contributor requirements so that the site continue has good hygiene throughout its you know as we um Nikhil you had said something else that was uh no no uh so oh. for the perma uh, redirect from part i think we already have that plugin in our sync the redirect from okay very good yeah yeah very good i think there's there are maybe a couple of other use cases where we actually like there's a very prevalent use case that where we need to ref where from one blog post you want to refer to another one and, and it's just uh it's just a the regular hyperlink the where you're 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 in a paragraph and you're like yeah and go read the using meshri ctl blog post if you want to know more and the way that you do that the answer is sort of already in front of our face it's like well you use the permalink to you know you use hyperlink to that blog post and and that would be the same thing that we would do um, you know here the same thing that we would do in but 
So Umkar, one thing that, Adina, hey Adina, what were you? Did you, Adina, did you want to say anything? <laughs> oh, sorry, no. No, oh, okay. I thought that I'm, I'm on you at all. My God, sorry. Okay. No, I didn't. Cool. Sorry. Um, Umkar, as you think about the related posts and the logic there, is that you'll need to consider for the, ed, the edge case um, of zero related posts and what you would show. Ideally, the whole related posts section, it would be gone, including the header. Uh, in that case, can we not show the latest posts? Like uh, you know, something for the user to navigate, you know? That's a better suggestion than I, yeah, that makes sense. On the single blog post page, like, Instead of related, it would be latest. Yeah, if uh, if it has zero, then user should have something to, you know, read next. It's suggesting you might uh, whatever you think. That's a fantastic suggestion. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, for now that part will be great to implement because we don't have uh, a lot of number of blogs. When we have uh, like. Uh, 25 or 30 now uh, 30 blocks then we might have a, a part in the footer section of the blog where we can redirect the user who is reading uh, to the similar kind of uh, blogs that the user has written footer oh, footer thank you i don't have anything more intelligent to add there um um Prati. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't uh, meaning that for her, but if you go to the blog, like yeah, what no. uh, he has done. No, no, I totally get it. Uh, we're just moving on to the next topic. <laughs> yeah, what you said makes yeah. sense. And yes, good. And then, uh, cool. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes left, so. Uh, yeah, so you can just go to the carriers page first. Okay. Yeah, so basically, uh, I just moved from three to four, and it fits well. No issues in that. And also, the ho the hover and all the shadows that you said, like yeah. I think these are very, like better than the older ones. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, yes, that's that's awesome. This is almost the exact. This is like the exact interaction that we should be having on the, the blog posts. Probably this is really. It's, it's responsive, it's timely, it's not too snappy. It, it lifts up, gives you a little bit of, yeah, in the whole, like it's, it's uh, yeah, you can hover anywhere. It, beautiful, okay, uh, next. And yeah, in that part, like in the individual pages, like, no, so that's in, like, if you can, yeah, so there were things like, uh, I don't think the changes are getting reflected don't know what the issue is exactly yeah so basically i just changed the like i made a standard of having the title sizes and the heading size because it was like different for all the internship and uh, the career pages so like for all the places responsibilities would be having the same size and the like all those things nice good deal yeah way way too much um not a, way too much heterogeneity heterogeneity uh, okay and the last thing is on the career page itself uh, like we previously had the all the programs listed but uh, now i just moved to have a call out for the career section but yeah like it there should be something better te text uh, that you can suggest and we can just replace over there um, a quick, quick point of education for me, like, so this, um, this section here, this is not, uh, never mind. It's going to be a, a silly question that I don't think that's good. Thank you, Josh. This makes sense. It was too much before if there, we want to have a call out to programs, but not list them all here. So good deal. 
but but yeah okay. to your point it needs to yeah be. and uh, just one more thing like in the program space i just replaced the community bridge icon so like it was uh, it was a text before so is there any issue in that like standard or something uh that's no this is as a matter of fact like it just underwent a name change to lfx we don't uh, we're not i'm not as much concerned about the freshness as much as what you did is an improvement on what was there because what, what you have now is <clears throat> um something that matches the style of the rest of them it's just a, you know it's a square it's an icon that fits into a square and yeah yeah so previously basically it was just uh text and it was uh it like it floated on the top part and it all remained the white space so i just tried to replace it so it's uh of like it's their official logo from the github website like their github handle uh yeah and the like yeah this pr is like all like all those things like the changes in programs and careers nice. so the oh, very good um one one piece of feedback here is that is that while it's while we do want for different style cards so that the whole site isn't boring and has the exact same card um it it is for sure that that the depth the spread the the shadow the amount, yeah the amount of shadow how much we lift this the the card up um like actually if it was just the same i mean for the moment or what have you if it was just the same as this one that would be better oh, so i had one thing to add here. like i was thinking yesterday about this part a bit so like currently we use cards a lot but if we have a design for the pages individual pages like programs or projects at that time we won't need to use the cards then we can just have a simple call out of the project name or the program name or the icon itself and click on that would redirect us to the individual page in that case we would be able to reduce the usage of cards in all yeah. the pages yeah um Something that comes to mind, yeah, I, I agree. Like it's, it's, we've got a bunch of collections and we iterate through them and we show them as cards and like eventually the pay, the site is nothing but cards. One, one design, potential design to do that comes to mind is, it is kind of like the partners page or very similar where it would be Google Summer of Code. Right, so actually this is literally it, like Google Summer of Code. It's not a card, it's just the icon and it's, what you were saying is like you know here's a description of what it is T to mix it up a little bit on the it, it it could be this or it could be something else but on the current site it alternates it goes like icon over here with text and then it goes icon over here with text the, the problem with the page right now is this needs to be right aligned to the text um, yeah, it's 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 a little bit off. Like you like the yeah, the text should be aligned to the logo. But anyway, my point to, to your point, one way of sprucing it up and making this a little bit nicer is to not do cards, to just uh, have the icon list out those programs. And if you want to, and, and it could be alternating, or it could be, mm -hmm. or did you have another design in mind? I have watched it in mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's see. Uh, we should take a, a note to kill about. So, so, Josh, I think other than the, um, like if you're able to apply that other style real quickly, we can move that, you know, merge that PR and then come back. I with... have an idea in my mind. Lee, can I go on? Yep. Uh, if you go to the layer five home site, NG site, a home page yeah if you just scroll down to the client section yeah here like we have the component right then why not use it we can ha we can add those program logos of, of, uh, over there and uh, like we can highlight all the description part over there uh so the the thing is like uh like uh, how will we redirect them to the individual pages like by clicking on the logos 
um you can share that or like uh, having a button uh, for each of the description part like uh, below the description part or say like that's the thing like if we even use the component we would need a a proper design to how showcase the i component itself like if we just randomly show this five ka, the component itself with five buttons circular buttons then it might not look good yeah like it's rigid the thing is like it's rigid currently we do have six programs and so we just fit it with this like let's say if something more comes up then we can't do anything in this oh i see Uh, okay so i think like for uh, currently we can just uh, do the uh, the same shadow part and then like we can like i'll open up a pr if anyone has an idea of how to do that and anyone can just jump on it to like have any other things for that Alternating list view. Partners page. Thank you. Okay, so this is basically for uh, the blogs and the workshops part. Yeah, so a few things are like uh, we have moved the date from right to left, and we have just changed the format of date. Like just we have interchanged the both of those things, like the author and the dates, and we have changed the format, and we have made the entire card clickable now. And the use of the pointer arrow and all those things looking pretty pretty good one I, there might like like um the notion that the line breaks is kind of out of like there's only so much room to work with it's kind of out of your control etc so, so it might only be one item to consider and that is is to try to get a shadow on behind the Image. yeah uh, so the thing is like really? i left it intentionally like uh, we thought of like augustine would uh, like jump on to the types of cards we do have and we like he would be seeing on what those what all things can be applied okay, okay. fair oh. enough if you yeah, go ahead one point of review for the pr uh, the name of the blog itself also has a hover effect but that doesn't counts right now but if you go to the name uh, the text learn how to write wsm or something yeah, yeah in the uh, blogs itself if you suppose oh, go to the text on my journey and then you like if you on hover on the title then only the effect yeah, shows yeah. but it should be a general like the other ones uh, okay so like i'll have to bind the property with the entire link so i'll look into it No, do you mean that the title is getting cut off? The ellipse? Or... Uh, no, no. no I, uh, what yeah. I meant was like, currently, if we hover on the card, everything except the title hovers, like, uh, like gives the hover effect. But oh. that hover title that doesn't get colored, liest, or whatever you can put it nicely. So yeah, the title also needs to be colorized. Oh, okay, 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 I, okay, got it. yeah everything needs to be everything that can be activated should be activated when you hover okay uh, yeah and in the same pair there is the change in the workshops page as well yeah so like us like uh, the suggestion was to move the show remove the show more button but the like nikhil's uh, review 
review is also like very much important to notice that if we remove it then we won't be able to convey to the users that there is something if you click on it uh like what i meant was uh, previously we had a show more button but instead of doing that we can have just a read more text with a down arrow it won't be a, any special significance but it would just uh, let the user know that okay that's a card which would expand or you can let it more get to know about it more if you click on it instead of feeling the use uh, let the user feel that okay on clicking the card i may be redirected to some other page also something like that yeah cuz right now given that there's no there's a lack of transition it's um as a user since it does get to the full size i would very easily consider that i was just redirected to a new page and not understand that i'm still you know in the same um same page so if it's possible to add a transition that sort of you has it expanding so that people know where they still are also to nikhil's point if there's a like instead of we didn't we don't we didn't necessarily need a, another but a button on top of a uh, no no not a button it would be just a simple text with a down arrow it won't be a special significance and it would change on expanding the card to a simple up arrow or read less something like that that makes okay, total so sense yeah so the point i didn't uh, do it because like we were stuck in whether to have a excrept over here and move to the individual pages if that's the thing then we'll have to like do it right now like we'll have to open up issues for those things like are we uh, going with that uh, idea of having individual pages for the workshops uh yeah yes but that but we still would leave this as is like um we'll have the individual pages for seo and so that people can link to them if they want to but it doesn't mean that um generally the way that we would be letting people navigate is like that they we wouldn't show the link the link to that single workshop view we wouldn't show it here we would um show it i don't know like he, it would be like up here um oh, if you were using to... a share button we can show that yeah yeah okay then i'll just uh, do the the add up part yeah and uh, up next is uh, tanuj's pr like he's not uh, present but he said like i'll just present okay. it so one other thing to do is to we do want to add the shout out to the uh workshop image to the workshop card the the image portion like he doesn't in, in some respects um so austin is on and austin i know you're working on different uh, design systems and things and different cards for sure though like if we needed to go live tomorrow it would it would suffice that we uh, first of all it would suffice as is but second it would be even better if there was that small shadow that would work and that might just be the design that we go forth with um per, long lived cuz i it, so i guess what i'm saying is like it's not a waste to, to cuz we're using that same style in a couple of areas and they're all missing that shadow and the design that i'm asking austin to write down is the one that has the shadows <laughs> not that we won't have a bunch of different cards but i think it's fine awesome. okay so this one is for the um, members page like uh, if you can open the previa uh, so like he removed the uh, icons from the like we tried to move to a more square uh, profile for each of those uh, contributors we've got the meshmate badge And yeah we got the badge now an interesting thing um, that might not be obvious since this doesn't uh since this doesn't activate separately as a matter of fact since since it doesn't activate at all if i click on here i'll go to to vj if i click here i'll go to meshmates that can be okay it's just that i wouldn't necessarily have known that i was going to go that there were two different links 
So we either should just leave the interaction as is and not have a separate link to MeshMate, or we need to like, when someone hovers, it changes color. And then when they hover here, it, it also blows up. Yeah, something happens, yeah. Uh, hello, can we add a shadow over there? Like, uh, if you hover over that circle, measurement circle. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, if it like floats when we hover over it, so maybe. Makes sense. That's not, the, the other, there's a couple of other small items. Um, one is that we have a small shadow on the bottom of the circle and uh, we would do well to remove it because we either need to have the whole thing encircled and make like a, a circle um, with a shadow, but because the, for those images, those photos that are not full bleed, it, it just, lo it looks like, it looks weird. It looks like there, there's some, and by the way, her her image should probably be full bleed as well as Kishore's, because I think that these photos are large enough that, anyway, I know that that is gonna require some hand curation. So Austin, this is actually a good area for you to um, to do some photo Yeah, I editing. think the simple fix will be uh, keeping the photos in the ratio one is to one. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll make a design for it. Just uh, so actually, I'm, I'm not asking for a design here, rather just the images that the photos themselves to just be um, um, e edited, cropped, so that they're, uh, they, they, they should be square. square. Yeah. Okay. Square. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, sir. Okay. So, uh, last few things if like if there's time or like. So, but by the way, I have time. I just want to say to everyone else, I know we're a little over the hour. Um, we're going to talk about some more stuff on layer 5NG. If yeah, so uh, basically I'll just discuss on a few issues where we need help. If anyone wants to work on them, then like they can stay and I'll just discuss on what things we need to do. Sounds, sounds good. I'll, I'll take notes as you go. Okay, so, uh, okay, so if you can uh, go to the events page on the, uh, like after you finish writing it. Okay. Does this make sense, this, this comment that we, what we, and Austin, this is probably good for you to hear as well. This, the light green that we have, I think we want to, we want to use this as an accent color. And so, the default color that we would want on the cards is when you load the page that the color would be this this dark green when you hover we could we could then use the accent we could then use the action color the light green so we would just inverse the the use of these two colors um for the uh inactive members having this gray by default is fine. When someone rolls over and we need to activate it, um, it can just be a darker gray or a, a rather a lighter gray. Like it doesn't, um, we don't need to incorporate the greens here. Uh, yeah, you know, I actually put that feedback on the uh, thing. So I think we're good. Uh, cool, so Josh, you were saying to go to, oh, actually there's a Thanks. couple of other. Uh, somebody had uh, suggested that maybe I, I'm in favor of leaving the circle like the, you know, this, um, um, it's nice. The, the action that happens. Uh, I insisted on <laughs> removing oh, the circle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We miss, we can keep it. I thought like, since it's a uh, white and we have a white base, so it doesn't look so much prominent. But, oh yeah. We can. Right. Yeah, there might be. A uh, where are we going to add the LinkedIn uh, button over there? Yep. It, it, oh, so I think some members just they haven't um, updated their profile to include. Um, okay. 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 
got the point. Josh, you were saying go to where? Events. Events. Yeah, in community itself. Okay. Okay. So, uh, there was a like there was a uh, discussion on having up like uh, we do like can we can have a tab switcher or something to uh, showcase upcoming events versus past events over here. Like a like a filter or a. Uh, yeah, so like if you can showcase the site we saw on that, uh, if it was Docker, uh, I don't remember exactly. Uh, no, not this one. Then I think it was something different. There was. Uh... Yeah, yeah, this one. Uh, so like here we do have tabs, like they do have tabs for all and webinars and workshops, but uh, for now we can just have similar thing uh, for like the upcoming events and past events or something like that. And we do have different kinds of events as well already. So we, we do have, some of these are workshops, some of these are talks. Um, some of the we don't have webinars just yet, but we but we will we will so, um, and some of them are meetups. And yeah, one more thing is to add the like uh, attend a community event, uh, like uh, that we oh, saw on on Docker. Uh, yeah, we can also add community meeting recordings. Yeah. Yeah. And we were saying, um, doc, like Docker has. Um, so, so say that la that other part again. It was. What was yeah, it? in the in, at the last, like in the, and yeah, this one, like, no, so like not uh, the individual page. I mean, but oh. just uh, yeah, an image and a text uh, regarding this or. So in the meantime, Lee is taking the notes. Do anyone have any interest in taking up this issue? He sure. <laughs> yeah, Kishore has said he would like to work on it. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll just, if you like, if you don't exactly get what we want, then I'll, op I'll also open up those issues with uh, appropriate resources. So, like, if you feel you can just, you want to try it on, then you can go on it. Yeah, so uh, the next thing is like, we do not have enough uh, front matter for the events. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's just the date, nothing else. Oh, okay. Did, did we, we just lost that in migration, I suspect. Or, or you know what, actually I think is it, um, are these like almost entirely made? Uh, oh, wait a second. Okay. I'm getting events confused with workshops. 
Okay. So, so the event, so let me, let me take that action item or let me take that um, bit because I, I think it's faster if I, uh, It's actually, I don't know, maybe it's not me. Um, Shridi might, might do this. Wow. I'm going to be doing this. Okay, uh, the next one is, uh, there are two things like, uh, one is the newcomers page and one is the uh, page having the meeting info. And, so and, yeah, that's present in layer five dot io, but not in layer uh, like layer five ng website. If I get this. Yeah, so like uh, I'll just add on add a few things like it's not basically simple migration because we need to change a few things uh, while uh, moving on moving on like uh, the the use of the graphic over there can be replaced with something from our own uh, like if you all have the access to the drive then we do have many things present over there itself so or else Lee can provide with a graphic suitable for that. Is the so Kishore, you're saying, hey, the newcomers page has been migrated. Let's see if it's, if it's maybe it's just in a different. Uh, it's in a different. Um, so let's see. The, okay, and the closed PR has it. That's interesting. Is our when we when we close the PR, shouldn't that show up? Uh, you can check if the community menu has the option or not. Right. Oh, in the new site. On the new site. No, okay, so that means the site is not being updated. I think uh, there's some issue with the cache which Tanuj mentioned earlier with Netlify. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay then. So Kishore did do this, okay. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just, um, yeah, so it just, it needs a, so nice work, um, Kishore. The page itself, the original design needed a little bit of love and so too does this, this new page need a little bit of love. Are we using tables anywhere else just yet on the site? Uh, in the landscape, but I've added the component specifically for the landscape page itself because it's very much specific for the data itself. It's sure. not updated again. Uh, it's the previous. Uh, it's not updated. Okay. It's. I think it should show in the current site. Not sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and so this is kind of unique and special to. Uh... But I mean, not that this couldn't be reused, but but Kishore, um, like th this, oops, the, um, you know how you're like highlighting the column, it's, or the, the section title is like, well, we, yeah, this is not, it's not ideal that we would do that. It's fine that we, you can, it's actually just, not a good layout. This information shouldn't be in a table in a tabularized format. Like this just not, it, it makes sense inside of a Google doc, but not on this page. 
So Austin, if you have got something else for us here, that would be great. We don't do it's we use smileys and emoto, emojis all over the place uh, in communicating with each other. We've yet to use them on this site, and we I don't know that we would. Uh, we also don't put an exclamation mark in our title. Like there's just the whole Navindu did a good thing. He didn't. We didn't give him the right feedback, and so the page is suffering. There's a missing white space here, which is probably an issue from the current site. Um, if you can, if we can sort tables, that would be great. It's like, does the standard component not have that ability? There's too much white. Um, yeah, the table component which I have used, it has, so it needs to be added. Like, there's a hook to do that for the component itself. So, if he uses the table component, the React table component, he will get that. The functionality. Yeah, by the time I like, I also have to look on the cache plugin because uh, it it is uh, showing few errors since a few days. Like my own PRs didn't run, and then I had to rerun the Netlify deploy. So, uh, oh, one thing with the cache uh, plugin thing, I remember. Like, I'm not sure if that's right or. Uh, Lee, in your recent PR for the landscape image, uh, there is a lot of addition for the log package or hyphen log dot JSON file. I don't know if that's intended or if it cause any side effect. It's, uh, in my latest update, the package dot uh, JSON package hyphen log dot JSON file. Yeah, it was something like twenty four thousand lines plus. Yeah, oh, I was afraid. Mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no, I totally. Oh yeah, then no, that's not. I, yeah, I was just trying to um, make I think three updates: just these new images and then a new reference to that image. But then yeah, I um, I think when I, I built I um. You know, did I run I ran setup libs I think because I wasn't able to build the site before having run that, and so. I think uh, it took it automatically. Yeah, because the the latest uh, log JSON file is already updated for the repo. Uh, because when I updated the landscape page, I added the new log file. So I don't think it should have any effect. Oh. <laughs> we'll see if that builds. Oh no! Okay, wait. You know, let me go fix that because now <laughs> you just deleted the file. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. All right. All right, I'll go fix the. Uh... Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the uh, last topic is like uh, to have a page for the meeting links. So it's pretty so on. No. Uh, so this four to five issues, like we are focusing to uh, tackle this in this week, like by the next websites meeting call. If we, if someone of like some, some people from you can just uh, try them on, and then it would be very good. Like we are uh, trying to move on to like if we can release the website as soon as possible. So like we need help from like any as many hands as possible. If uh, like we need to achieve that goal. So Vishal, um, is the, is, uh, are the websites an area of interest for you? Is, is working on the Layer 5 NG an interest for you? Uh, Vishal Danur? Um, yeah, no, we can't hear you. You are off mute, but your voice isn't coming through. Oh, so while he manages to come on, like, so I was, I had one thing like, uh, should we incorporate the calendar itself on the meeting speech? Ah. Uh.
That's a good question. Um, like we can have the calendar and means a better calendar. Like the current calendar on the current site is good, but it doesn't list all the meetings in a proper way. Is this the the current? Is this what you're referring to as the current calendar? Like this? Uh, yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, correct. Um. Uh, but like, uh, what sh- what can be an improvement is we can have a calendar like this, and we can have a table beneath this, which would list out the meetings and highlight the times, which when that happens. Like the it can be a day, time, and uh, meeting name. like three columns uh while you are talking about this nikhil i got a good alternative of the what is say uh, this uh, full calendar it's called team up uh, calendar if you can search in google team up dot com if i'm not wrong team up dot com yeah yeah this one uh so like we can create a calendar and incorporate in our site Ooh, yeah it's a it's it's too it's it's awesome it's it's kind of too much like i don't know maybe i mean like like it's aesthetic thing, though <laughs> i mean this thing like it literally probably lets you schedule the events and like do do all this stuff and that's all that's pretty awesome i, I just um um sub calendar yeah i mean like so i think that the free plan works because it's just really a single calendar that we're looking to uh, but it it might actually uh, do they provide the api to use it on a different site uh i'm not sure though but i just came across it a few weeks ago i need to check okay cool uh, but but yeah in, incorporating a calendar makes um sense um the reason that you won't see all of the meetings on this one is just like like when we met on saturday that it that meeting wasn't added to the community calendar it was just sent individually as an example the rest you should see like there was one that where we discussed strappy and that was just sent to uh, interested individuals which is why you didn't see it or why it's not shown Oh wait, no, yeah, actually we did put it on there. So there's the strappy plus layer 5 ng. But um what is this not? Anyway, I'm um, good. So Vishal, oh, okay, very good. So Vishal, I see your comment in the chat. Um I understand that you're having audio issues. No 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 problem. Um and yeah, so Vishal um please meet you know the other people on the line um you know Josh Patel was just kind of highlighting a few areas of need and so a good a good individual to catch up with but the same for Nikhil and Pratya um and Kishore and and all, and all, all the people on the call um they're all it, it, when you're in Slack in the websites channel in Slack that's a a great channel to begin to engage in um and uh yeah there's this is a great way to go learn some gatsby and some react if you don't know already so um austin if you would could could you tack on to the bottom of your list um some consideration for a gr- um a graphic for a newcomers page or you know what i don't know maybe that's a bad ask austin is is more like at some point it's not just a graphic it's more like the information architecture of the page um th- this really isn't the most um, well it's it's not it's not the most critical one to focus on at the moment but austin yeah i i am not sure sir um something about is for the illustration and the old. Yeah. Uh, sounds great. There is one there's a call to action that will be used a few times over and it's like join the community is is kind of the call to action. 
And so there might be a, a small design, a small call to action that um, if, if it were designed that, that these guys might implement as a component that gets reused a few times. Because uh, like almost, almost at the end of any community page, any page under slash community, probably like the call to act, we're kind of missing like, join us, or it could be at the top, you know, either, either way, or, or it could be just in the middle of somewhere, you know, join us. This is awesome. This thing is great. Something like I uh, want to get featured on this list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> know. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, where's John? Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have to eventually. We're gonna have to. There'll be. We're gonna have to figure out other badges other than just meshmates. And by the way, uh, Nikhil had um, has a better memory than I do. And had Nikhil, you made two comments on the PR about the resizing and structuring of the cards, both of which were exactly what we had said in the meeting, which was um, that potentially um, not only is it ideal to collapse these two lines into the same one, which I know there's, you know, people have already done, you know, people are working on that. But also, um, it, it is true that we do, we do want to leave the, the social icons for people to, but you know, to, to, for people to connect. But we also probably want to provide a, a separator. Like, I'm not sure which ones come first, but a set a pipe or a separator or something that then has the project icons, meshery, um, image hub, uh, meshmate, um, meshery operator, blah blah blah, like uh, that that then can be used for individuals to show off, um, you know, their area of, of contribution. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, then uh, maybe in the last few weeks, uh, we had a talk about what to integrate in the profile section. We had a talk like, uh, um, if, if I'm not wrong, it was uh, Nikhil or you who have said uh, to add a time zone uh, button over there and also uh, the area of interest. Yeah, it's so the, the, la yeah, the latest version of it is here. I use Vinayax because he's got, well, so there's, this is the latest version that doesn't have the social links here. It does have a badge, which is great. It um, has restructured and improved the look. Um, it is in the process of, there's, there's some feedback to adjust this. But one piece of feedback that we didn't give was, or that I forgot to give, but Nik Nikhil remembered was, um, yeah, so the time zone, I think we ended up just uh, settling on like location and then letting the viewer come to understand that, uh, that he's probably in IST, you know, the, so. Uh, also for the location part i guess the country name is enough instead of mentioning the state or city yep yep if there might be there might be some some folks might have a privacy privacy preference there so that's uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, then there is a library called moment time zone if you search it on npm yes yeah, yeah. the name of it Moment. moment time zone moment oh moment yeah uh, like if you go to the npm site then yeah yeah, yeah okay. it is the, 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 okay huh so basically here you input the place or you can you can input the the region like in uh, the sort abbreviated terms like for india it's in then uh, we can retrieve the local time zone up there and we can display it. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so not necessarily showing a map, but more like um, hey, a standard way of uh, referring to time zones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Like if we're able to. Um, use the so is the yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I think the consideration that we had had around time zone was uh, that we wouldn't, you know, that that we would retain some privacy for folks where they wouldn't have exactly where they are. Um, and I think that that's just a. Uh, it's just it's a it's a user it's a preference on the person some people so yeah i'm not sure what explicit guidance to give here because like some people might just say india some people might give the exact city in uh, in india and in the current design that we have either one would work if we also incorporate um i, I would say this that like th this is good and is not this is good. It's not necessarily MVP for releasing the site. Um, incorporating it in would help, and and we could, in, in a very you know standard way, show, you know, current like the current time for that individual. That's pretty cool. Like, hey, yeah, they're in India, and then like so their their current time is. Yeah. Uh. So like if there isn't any topic, I think like uh, there are many people on this call yet. So like we are over done time with the things. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, we don't want to talk about it all night long. Is that not the okay? Yeah, like for us, it's like <laughs> I don't. Sure have any, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. So, um, as a matter of fact, um, Austin has just finished the design and we're kind of ready to show it off. Um, we'll Austin, if you want to drop that link into the websites channel. And uh, that way people can uh, weigh in a bit. And uh, and with that, we will have wrapped uh, almost a two hour website talk. This, this is this is good. We, it's clearly it's coming together. Clearly we're getting closer. So any anything else? We're good. All right, I'm gonna go do some yard work, I think is no. Uh, cool. There's the Figma link. Um, all right, I'll, I'll put that into Slack so that it's, or uh, so people see it. I was just gonna ask if Austin has a brother or sister to involved in designing part. He can bring you over. <laughs> because we yeah we do we need, need uh, more people. people. Yeah 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 we do need more design tips. Cool. See you in there. All right. Well, to Josh's point, we'll I'll let everyone go, but um, I think people can insert comments into Figma as well, so or into Slack. So, all right. Very good. Uh, talk to you guys uh, soon. Talk to you very soon. Thanks for being on. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. bye. bye.